So with this video, we will be starting off with the greedy algorithms playlist. As usual, it will be a continuation of the Strivers A to Z DSA course. And in case you haven't checked it out yet, there is a link in the description. Make sure you check it out. We were starting off. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So the problem that we will be solving today is assign cookies. So what is the problem statement? The problem statement is there is a parent, right? He has n children. Every children has a greed factor. The first children has a greed factor of 1. The last children has a greed factor of 4. So every children has a greed factor. Along with this, the parent also has m cookies. The parent also has m cookies. Every cookie size is known to the parent. The first cookie has a size of 4, whereas the last cookie has a size of 3. Now, what is the definition of greed? Let's take the third uh, children. The third children has a greed factor of 3. So, he'll only be satisfied if you give him a cookie which has a size greater than or equal to 3. Which means, you can give this one, you can give this one. You can only give this particular cookie or this particular cookie. Nothing apart from this. So, you can satisfy this children by giving one of the both cookies, right? Now, there is a twist. You can pick up one cookie and you can give it to only one children. You can pick up one cookie and you can give it to only one children. Now, your task is to make sure that you can assign maximum number of cookies to the children's. Right? The more children's should get the cookies. Let's try out. If I have a greed factor of 1, can I give this particular cookie? Maybe yes. So, I'll give 4 to it. So, this is gone. Okay. If I have a greed factor of 5, can I give it a cookie? I cannot because I don't have anything that's greater than or equal to 5. So, I, I cannot. So, I cannot satisfy this particular children. Okay. Can I satisfy this one? Yes. The 4 is gone, but I still have a 3. I still have a 3. So, I'll give 3 and this is also gone. Can I satisfy this children? I cannot because I don't have anything else. And I cannot reuse 3. I cannot reuse 4. I don't have anything. So, I cannot. Can I satisfy 4? I cannot. So, overall, I was able to satisfy 2 children. But the question is that you have to maximize the number of children. So, maybe I can try some other pattern. Let's try out some other pattern. Okay. What if for this, I'll give this particular one or maybe this particular one. Doesn't matter. Okay, I'll give one. That's done. For this five, again, that's not possible. So that's all. For the three, I can take up three. Okay. For the next three, I can take up four. Okay. For the next four, I don't have anything. So if I follow this particular distribution, I'll be able to satisfy three children. And this is the maximum you can do. You can try out different uh, scenarios. But this is the maximum that you can do. You don't have to return which children you are able to satisfy. You just have to return the number of children you were able to satisfy. So, did you see a pattern? What did I do? If it was 1, I need someone who is greater than or equal to 1. So, I tried assigning the smallest values, the nearest values to 1, the nearest values to 1. Not 4, not 3, not 2. I was acting greedily. I don't want to spend a lot. Let's assign this one. Let's keep the bigger values for someone who has a better greed factor. Right? Better greed factor. And this is greedy. You're being greedy. You're being greedy because you only want someone greater than or equal to one. You don't give him a lot. You say, ah, you're satisfied by one. Keep one. Why take four? You're being greedy. And this is what greedy algorithm is. So what I will do is, I'll take the size array and I'll sort it. Because I need the smallest number of cookies, like the smaller numbers. And that will be 1, 1, 2, 2, 3. So what I've done is, I sorted down the cookies. Okay. After that, what I'll do is, I'll take the greed factor and I'll sort it as well, which is 1, 3, 3, 4 and a 5. So I've sorted this as well. Perfect. Now what I will do is, I'll take two pointers. So maybe you can call it as the left pointer 
and you can call it as the right pointer. Now what I am saying is, hey listen, I have a cookie which has a greet, uh, which has a size of one. Can I assign this to this one? Yes, I can. So if I can assign this, I've satisfied one children. I've satisfied one children. So I'll move to the next. I'll move to the next. But once I've moved to the next, I know one thing. This is done. This cookie has been assigned. So I'll move to the next. And now I'm asking, can I assign this one to any one? So I am at three. I cannot. And if I cannot assign it to 3, I will not be able to assign it to anyone beyond 3 because this is a sorted array. I will not be able to assign it anyone to the right of 3 as well. So not possible. This cookie cannot be assigned. Okay, I will try the next one. Can 2 be assigned? No, it cannot be. So I will try the next one. Can this 2 be assigned? No, it cannot be. So I will try the next one. Can this 3 be assigned? Yes, it can be assigned because this 3 can be assigned to this one. So you will assign this to this particular children. This children is satisfied. Hence, you will move to the next children. So what I can say is, this particular cookie has been assigned. So let's move to the next one. Can I, can I assign this cookie to this one? Yes, because this particular children has a great factor of 3. So I can. And if I can, this children is also satisfied. So I'll move to the next children. And at the same time, I know this cookie has been assigned. So the left pointer crosses the cookies array. I don't have any further cookies left. So what you can see is, if I have to write down the indexing, 0, 1, 2, 3. You're able to satisfy three children. And that is why you're standing at this one, because this was not satisfied. So standing at a third index, which means... You have satisfied three children. So wherever R is standing, at whatever index it is standing, that is the number of children you were able to satisfy. And that will be your answer. Quite simple. So if I have to write down the pseudocode, can you? Probably yes. What you'll write is, okay, assume you're given a function. What are you given? You'll be given two arrays. Uh, definitely one is the greed array, while the other one is the size array. Very simple. Maybe I can say n equal to uh, greed uh, dot size. And I can say m equal to size dot length or size dot size. Maybe you can call it some other. The name can be changed. Okay. So m is size dot size. What after this? I know there are two pointers. L will be at 0 and R will be at 0. There's one more thing. I need to make sure the greed is sorted. So depending on your language, you can uh, call the internal sorting. And then you can sort the size as well. So both of them are sorted. Right? Now you know you are testing for every cookie. So I'll be like, okay. I'll be like, while L can go on till M because I have M number of cookies. And I'll check, hey, listen. Can I satisfy? Can I satisfy? What is this? The greed of R because the children are. Can this be satisfied? And it will only be satisfied if the cookie's size is greater than the greed. And if that is the case, I'll be satisfying R. I'll be satisfying R. Perfect. That's done. If it's not, if it's not, it doesn't matter. If it's or if it's not, I go to the next cookie. If this cookie was satisfied, fine, I'll move to the next children. Otherwise, I'll have to any way move to the next cookie. Perfect. What I'll do is, I'll end up the while loop. And at the end of the day, what you can straight away do is, you can return. What will you return? You'll return R, yes, because that is where your answer lies. And you can complete the function. Done and dusted. What is the time complexity? Can I say that the time complexity will be run by this while loop because that is the only loop we are running. And there are two sorting functions. So can I say that for sorting will be n log n plus m log m plus you're running a while loop on m. So it's a big of n. So can I say that the overall time complexity will be this one? And can I say the uh, can I say that the overall space complexity will be big of one? 
because I'm not using any external space. But yeah, I'm definitely distorting the arrays. That is a disadvantage. But yeah, this uh, like this problem will be solved in this particular way only. And this is what greedy algorithm is. You greedily try to assign the smallest values possible because that is how you can maximize the number of children who are satisfied. So yeah, this will be it for this one. So if you're still now watching and if you've understood everything, please, please do consider giving us a like. And if you're new to our channel, do consider subscribing to us as well. With this, I'll be wrapping up this video. Let's meet in some other video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.